students we completed the adaptations in plant now learn more about the adaptations in animal firstly we learn about the adaptations in aquatic animals fish is one of the example of aquatic animal as compared to terrestrial animals the skin and body shape of aquatic animals appear to have undergone changes fish have scales on the skin and fish on the body their body tapers towards both the end it's like a spindle fish breathe with the help of gills instead of nose their eyes have transparent eyelid they have air bladders within the body to help them to float adaptations in amphibians frog is an frog is an amphibian it is it inhabits both land and water being a true amphibian it can breathe in water with the help of skin and when on land it breathes nose and lungs duck is a bird it cannot take oxygen dissolved in water it breathes only with the help of lungs duck is not an amphibian but it is a amphibious webbed toes powerful hind legs slimy slippery and smooth skin triangular head double mode of breathing these are adaptations in amphibians adaptations in forest and grassland animals carnivorous animals like the wild dog fox tiger and lion have strong legs to run fast and capture their prey tiger have padded jaws this enables them to silently stalk their prey and capture it easily the eyes of herbivores are below the forehead on either side of the head this gives them wide angle vision which helps to protect them from predators their legs are long and tapering with strong hooves which enables them to run fast taking long leaps deer and black bears have colors that merge with their surroundings their teeth are strong for chewing tough plant material now we learn adaptations in aquatic plant animals now we see about the adaptations in desert animals severe scarcity of water has result bandha